Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. If you've ever wanted to run a full Windows desktop or try out PC apps and light games directly on your Android phone, then the latest Exodus emulator V5.7.0 is something you absolutely need to check out. This new version is packed with improvements that make the emulator more powerful, stable, and beginner-friendly than ever. From full compatibility with Android 15 to better GPU handling, this is a major leap forward. In this video, I'll walk you through all the new features, how to set it up properly, and give you a quick look at how it performs with games like GTA 4 and GTA 5. Let's start with what's new in this version. Isodos V5.7.0 now runs perfectly on Android 15 without crashing, which is a big deal for users on newer phones. It's also great news for Mali GPU users. There's now a special experimental driver that improves performance, and guess what? You don't need to manually install the Turnip Vulcan driver anymore. That alone makes things so much easier. On top of that, physical mouse support has been improved, gamepad to keyboard mapping is now fixed, and the emulator has updated Wine to Proton 9.0, which means much better compatibility with Windows apps. And yeah, the interface has been polished too, making everything look and feel smoother. All right, now let's walk through the setup. The best part? You only need one app. Just download and open Exodus. The first time you open it, accept the notification and give storage access when asked. This allows it to install some system files. Once that's done, the app might close by itself. That's normal. Don't worry. Just hold down the app icon, go to App Info, and enable Display Over Other Apps. This unlocks a a floating menu feature that'll come in handy later. Now open the app again. You can open the keyboard anytime by pressing your volume button. Go into preferences and tap on video settings. Set the resolution mode to native to exact and change the screen resolution to 1280 by 720 for a great balance of performance and clarity. Next, enable the float ball menu. This gives you quick access to important functions like turning on Termux, enabling the keyboard, customizing input controls, opening the task manager, and more. Scroll down and enable the hide display cutout option to remove any notch or camera punch out from your view. After this, everything else can stay as it is. Just click back to return. Once you're on the main screen again, tap start. You'll now see a Windows style desktop. Open quick settings. A pop-up will show saying modern Android detected. Just click OK to continue. Now, we'll go through the setup wizard. First, choose your CPU type. If you're using a Snapdragon device, select Snapdragon. If not, choose other. For other processors users, pick wine type as Glipk, DirectX wrapper as Wind 3D9, driver as Virgil Misa 19, and allocate eight CPU cores, done. For Snapdragon users, also choose Wine Type Glibs, but select DXVK 2.3.1 as your DirectX wrapper and Turnip V25.0.0 R4 as the driver. Again, set eight CPU cores, done. Once that's done, go back to the home screen and tap Start Again. Now, click on the first Exodus icon. You'll be prompted to choose Vulcan Driver. Snapdragon users should select Turnip, while others can go with the Vulcan Driver. After that, another screen will ask you to choose between three CPU options. If you've got a high-performance Snapdragon phone, choose the first option for stable performance. If your phone is less powerful or has a non-Snapdragon chipset, choose the second option for more stability. Skip the third one entirely, and that's it. Your emulator is now set up and ready. On the Windows desktop, you can customize your wallpaper, browse the internet, or run lightweight Windows apps. But keep in mind, this version of the emulator isn't optimized for playing heavy games in this mode. It's more for general PC usage. If you want to play games, go back to the Zodos homepage. You'll notice two options. Wine Glibc and Wine Bionic. There's no major difference between them, so I just used Wine Glibc. Once you open it, the emulator will start downloading additional drivers. This might take a few minutes, so be patient and let it finish. Inside this version, things look a bit simpler. It's not as visually polished as the main desktop, but it works. Click the Start menu on the bottom left, then click Install. You'll want to install DXVK version 1.10.3, and if you're using a Snapdragon processor, install the Turnip driver V24.3. If you have a different processor, go for Mesa.bat instead. Dead. Once those are installed, locate your game files. In my case, I tested GTA 5th, but before launching, open the floating Exodus menu, go into Task Manager, and end the services.exe process. This helps with performance and avoids glitches. After that, I launched GTA 5th. The game started, but I ran into a social club login error, which stopped it from going further. I tested the same game in Wine Bionic, and unfortunately, the same error showed up there too. But when I tried GTA 4, it ran perfectly, which was a nice surprise. So that's the full breakdown of the new Exodos emulator v5.7.0 update, from setup to actual testing. It's not a perfect experience, but it's one of the most powerful Android emulators out there right now. If you're into experimenting, retro gaming, or just want a mini Windows setup on your phone, this is totally worth a try. Let me know in the comments what games you were able to run, or if you want a deep dive tutorial on specific titles. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more emulator and gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.